Hello Virgo, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Virgo placements for May 24th through June 1st. This should be a most interesting reading, Virgo. Um, if you have not already found your path forward, ooh, let me fix the camera, hold on. If you have not already found your path forward, I think you, are, you will be finding it this week. Remember, slow and steady, and only give your energy to what you can. No overextending, no overgiving. All right, let's take a moment to breathe. If you want to fast forward, by all means, we'll see you in a moment. Virgo, this week you are definitely learning where it is you need to slow down. You are a Virgo, all right? And you are learning many, many things, all right? You have been. You have been putting the pieces together, collecting them up. Collecting things up. You're collecting things together this week. You're learning that you can't just bolt forward. Oh, 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 oh boy. You are also getting grounded. And communing with the earth is actually what I am getting. Letting Mother Earth Take your problems, ground you, give you energy. Thank you. Wow. We might even have a love story going on, Virgo. But what we do have for sure. Oh, goodness, did you see that? Make sure you get grounded. Make You are fixing your stability this week, Virgo. You are taking control of your stability. Yes. Dormant aspects. Along with love. Someone or something is awakening this in you. I believe that you are experiencing love from a whole different perspective. Free of codependency, free of fear. We're going to put those over here. Yeah. Learning to love in a whole new way. Learning to be. Learning to communicate. Learning no expectations. You are also having spiritual awakenings. The hermits, the magician in reverse. I wonder what that's about. That is the magician in reverse is all about deception, deceiving, 
There may be a deceptive energy around you. I don't believe that it's you. You are seeing where you have been deceiving yourself. Yes. Both of these are your cards. Both of these are your cards. You are seeing where you have been upside down. The dreamer. Holy crap. You are seeing where you're upside down. Pisces, awakening. Big week. Big week. Big week. Big week. Big movement. With internal movement. Big internal movement. We're going to get a separate card on that magician. Five of fire is hiding the four of air. Look at this. Did I, did I manage to get out of my mouth that you were getting spiritual downloads and your spiritual side is growing? You are manifesting at a higher rate. You are resonating at a higher rate. Hold on, I want to get this magician card. Why is the magician in reverse, please? I don't have reversals. Why is the magician in reverse? Lovers with the devil. What the flip? Could be a Gemini. Could be a Capricorn. We got a lot of major arcanas here, honey. Okay, those are coming out. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Chariot. Oh, Virgo. Holy crap. Okay. It is exactly what I thought it was to begin with. It, it was exactly what I thought it was to begin with. I just wanted to clarify and make sure. This is you seeing how you were not manifesting, how you were deceiving yourself about a new beginning. And because you see this, you are alchemizing, you are balancing, you are healing. Fairness, Nine of Pentacles, could be your own business. King of Pentacles, you taking control because you know. Only because you know. Chariot, victory. Because of dedication and willpower. Dedication and willpower. Dedication and willpower. Dedication and willpower. Whatever you are doing, Virgo, do not stop. I see major financial abundance for you in the future. You know what it is. You already know. This is not something you don't know. Keep going. This could be a side business. It could be school. <sighs> The moon's on the bottom, more major arcana. You have found your path. Keep going. You have found your path. You know that you are right. Keep going. Do not stop. Pure willpower, okay? This is exciting. This is very, very exciting. Five of fire, four of air. Five of fire, inner competition, inner conflict, sorry. Renewal, you're going through a renewal. You are going through a rebirth. You are balancing out. Ace of spring, you're taking action on what it is. Yes, you're, like I said, you are controlling your foundation right now. You're getting your foundation into alignment. The world knew because it's time. It's time, and you know this. Oh, eight of spring, eight of wands. Success, 
movement forward the world again. Okay. All right, let's get your clarifiers here. Inner conflict about I about your four of swords. Inner conflict about when to take a break. Inner conflict about healing something. Inner conflict about whether or not this is actually going to happen, but it will. Inner conflict about whether or not you can actually manifest this, but it, you will manifest this. You will manifest this. You are coming at this from a whole new mindset. You are coming at this from a whole new perspective. You are coming at this from a whole new place in spirit. Prince of Spring, Eight of Summer, Seven of Summer, Queen of Summer. It's summer. It is summertime. Life experience is on the bottom. You have been through so much. It has taught you so much. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. You are. You are. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. You are changing. You are letting go of this belief system. You didn't believe you could do it before, so you were holding yourself back. Making excuses about why you couldn't. That's what this magician in reverse is. You, my love, are turning this over. You are turning this over so that you are the magician. That is your card. Hermit, self-discovery. Prince of Spring, a challenge you can successfully manage. A passionate relationship. I think that you might very well have a um, relationship going on, but you're kind of putting that on the back burner. Why? Magician, eight of summer, because you're going after something. You're walking away. You're taking action, and you're going after. You're going, you're going down your path, Virgo. You know what your path is. The Dreamer, which is the Fool card, Leap of Faith, Follow Your Dreams, Unexpected Opportunities, Seven of Summer, No More Procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion arises from overanalyzing the options. You're not doing that anymore. You may have a lot of options, but I don't think you're worrying about it. I don't think you're worrying about the future. I think you're letting the universe take control is what I think you're doing. Four of Air, Time to Rest meditation getting grounded five of fire that's inner conflict queen of summer listen to your heart intuitive insights you can trust remember to take care of yourself we went from spring to summer look at this long summer all summer you're going to be busy manifesting you're going to be busy going down your path this summer oh my god high priestess knight of swords i knew you were getting downloads i knew you were getting downloads your spiritual prowess is truly growing oh my gosh the hermit with the magician your inner knowing with the fool are you kidding oh my god look <gasps> holy crap okay so much, so much. Wheel of Fortune, it's time. You have truth and clarity on how to cut these binds, how to step out of these binds and step into being the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune is hiding. It's time to become the Emperor. It's time you are becoming the Emperor. You are becoming the Emperor of your life. You are taking control. You are no longer allowing things. <gasps> oh my God. You have the emperor and the empress. Dear Lord. This is either you coming into union with a very close soulmate. You may or may not even know them yet. Um, but this is definitely 
definitely you balancing out, where's the balance card? You balancing out your masculine and feminine because you have truth on how to do this now. <gasps> Virgo the wise, the hermit. Virgo the wise, the hermit. Yes. Oh my God. Two of swords, three of wands, six of pentacles. You are finding your perfect balance, your give and take. You don't even need to take off that blindfold. This ace or this sword is pointing directly into the ace of swords. And this one right into the wheel of fortune. <gasps> Virgo, you're tapping into the universe. Holy crap. You are seeing intuitively how to achieve this balance. Look at this, this balance. And we got the male and the female. Four of Pentacles, the sun, you're, you, yes, yes, you know that you know that you know the seven of wands from earlier. You know that you know that you know, you know how to, to achieve this. You know how to get here. You know where your happiness lies. You're, you know where your abundance lies. Yes, and it all starts with you and inside you. God, if you are single, you have love coming. Oh, my dear Lord. Oh, my God. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Three Tens. What? Ace of Wands? You have all four Aces. Ten. Oh my God, Virgo. Massive, massive life change. I got to pull one more. Two of wands. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. You've got the three of wands over here too. You're grabbing on and you are deciding to take up this, this ace. These aces all these aces, you are taking them up, Virgo. The burdens are over because you're trusting the universe. You are hearing the universe. The pain is over. It's gone. The only thing we do not have here is the Ten of Cups. I'm afraid to pull. Oh, and there's the love. And there is love. Do not stop. Do not stop. Do not stop, Virgo. Oh, my God. This is major. Dormant aspect. Love. Tap into this. Tap into this. Inner knowing. High priestess. Tap into this. Oh, my God. And under that is the Ace of Fire. Ace of Wands. I'm speechless, Virgo. Your intuitive abilities, your psychic abilities, your knowing, your knowing is about to blow through the roof. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Go, go on a vegan diet for a little bit. Go on a raw diet for a little bit. Cleanse your body, cleanse your space. Do whatever you need to do to get prepared for this. This is coming. If it's not here now, Virgo, you are learning how to manipulate the energies through love. You are learning how to manipulate and bring out your dormant aspects. You are the magician, <gasps> Virgo. Oh my dear God. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This reading is definitely gone on much longer than I had anticipated, but this is so deep. This is major. I am flabbergasted. I am blown away. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, Virgo. I'm. Da, 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 da. Can we have, um, guys, if you would like personal reading, email me. Emails in the description box below. I go live every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, subscribe, like, 
share, comment below. If this is already happening for you, let me know. Let me know if you're seeing a difference. If you're if you're feeling this change. <laughs> All you need is love. Bum, bum, da, da, da. All you need is love. Six of water, six of cups. Kindness, concern, gentle determination. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Kindness, concern, sympathy, compassion, understanding, forgiveness, love, ideals. The ideal of kindness and compassion. See all, see all that is good and pure in humanity. Strive to be better. Embrace healthy boundaries. Accept that you will falter. Overcome obstacles with gentle determination. Do not meet aggression with aggression. Be kind and walk away. Wow, Virgo. This is a major, major read for you. Holy crap. Let me know how it's going. Okay. I will talk to you guys soon. You know I love you. Peace to you. Wow. Ciao.